us, nature and animals were important. Um, and they are iconic. A wolf is iconic. In episode seven, you know, the wolf is usually bad. We wanted to do the opposite, which is show somebody who was raised by wolves who has no respect for humans. Um, and then have a wolf cast in kind of the good role of helping leading him to his heart. Good boy, Shay, you're gonna go to your mark. Good boy, on your mark. Good, good. good this good. is Britt, and he is a British Columbian timber wolf. He lives on 20 acres, surrounded by national forest, spends lots of time playing in the pond at home, spends lots of time in the house as well, has a lot of dog friends that he plays with. Um, and uh, his life is pretty much either hanging out in, in, in the yard, down at the pond, or getting ready for a job. He wants to be off the place and right here in the middle of a set. In a minute, you will notice, actually, if I pull him off his mark and we just stand around for a minute, he will fall asleep at my feet with all of the stuff going on. Very unusual for a wolf. It's been eye-opening. It's the first time I've ever worked with uh, a wolf. And I suppose there's a real process with it, with um, with how you're meant to build a relationship. And it's just a lot of very basic things where he will come and stand with me and um, I'm not allowed to touch him. And his trainer will have this little clicky thing and he'll click it and give him a, uh, a treat. And then she'll um, tell me to put my hand out, and not to pet him, but for me to put my hand out. And then he has to come looking for the the stroke. We do that a few times until he's comfortable with the, the feel of me and then that progresses into me actually pet allowing him. to pet him but that just starts on just the shoulder and then we'll do that a few times and then he's used to it and then I'm allowed to touch him in his head and his ears. It's quite important that we make it look like he actually you know likes me. There's obviously safety issues and concerns and all that but you know they they have a mind of their own. You know, we just had a scene with the deer and the deer wouldn't cooperate and there's not much you can do. You have to just either wait it out or move on. We've been pretty lucky with, with, with Brit, but you know, like any other animal, he gets moody and there's times where he's hungry and he's tired and he's bored and we've been shooting it for too long and he doesn't want to stay on his mark and do the things he's supposed to do. And, and why should he? I mean, we often don't want to do that. So why should a wild animal? Grab, grab a careful. It's my friend. He won't hurt us. We had a wolf in the pilot, and now we've got a wolf in episode seven. I think it's kind of yeah. actually a part of, you know, fairy tales, whether it's Red Riding Hood or, or, or anything. I just think they're an iconic part of storytelling. And, and they look cool. Yeah. Ready, sit. Good, down. Good, on your side. Go on your side. Cover your eyes. Yes, we need to go head off to set. Good. All right, Brett.